So good morning everybody. Um, my name is Barnaby. As you probably know if you've been on this channel before, we build, well, I'm from Electric Car Converts, um, and we build electric Land Rovers. Um, now we build these Land Rovers with either a 55 kilowatt hour battery pack or a 110 kilowatt hour battery pack. And it's an upgradable option. So they're made by Felton. You can either start with 55 and then come back and get another 55 put in later. Or you can have 110 put in straight away, or you can have 55 and stick with 55, which to be honest is what most people do. Um, I'm with you this morning to do a range test in the vehicle. Um, so I'm currently in a 110 20, 2006, 2007, so Puma um, crew cab, so four doors and then a sort of pickup bed with a canvas on it in this case. Um, and I'm going to go and see how far I can get in this car. Um, not in vain, I'm going to see a supplier who are 56 miles away from here. Um, so when I get back, I'll work out how much charge I've still got and do some circles until I'm starting to get a little bit twitchy and think it's probably best to charge now. Um, a lot of people, well, I wouldn't say a lot of people. Strangely, our clients agree with our range calculations and agree with our estimates and all that kind of thing. People who haven't driven the cars, for example, our competitors, won't mention any names, um, don't believe our range. So I thought, let's make, it's not a boring video, but it'll be quite boring, but I'm literally going to be like every, I don't know, every time I think it's worth stopping, I'll stop, show you my battery level, show you how many miles I've done, um, and we can work out the exact range of this car. Um, now, obviously, I'm going to try and maximize range, so I'm not going to drive it like I stole it. I'm going to put it into eco mode. Um, I'm probably not going to go over sort of 60 mile an hour. But this trip that I'm doing, which is from close to our workshop in Ringma, um, I'm actually about to go there and stop to pick up the laptop so we can see what's happening throughout the, the journey if I need to. Um, and then we're going up to sort of near Gatwick Airport, Guildford, Surrey, Guildford sort of way. Um, it's country roads, it's villages, it's motorway driving. So it sort of gives everything that you would do in your electric Land Rover. But also this is a, you know, it's a, it's a typical day. It's 15 degrees in the UK. It is July, but it's still 15 degrees as Brits will know. You can see it's raining. Um, so it's maybe an average temperature that you'd use the car at, maybe slightly higher. Temperature is a big factor in range. So if it was 25 degrees, I'd probably get a little bit more. If it was zero degrees, I'd certainly get a little bit less. Um, so maybe this is a nice average. I mean, an average car, well, slightly heavier than average car. I'm on sort of crossover tires, which I'll show you all that in a moment. And I've got 55 kilowatt hours in this car. So this can only be a good way to test the range um, and see. I'm evidently on my phone by myself with a very sore shoulder at the minute holding this phone all the way out here. Um, but people know my YouTube videos, that's how we do this, that's how we roll, because my engineers are engineers, they don't need to sit here and come on a, on a road trip with me, <laughs> just to hold the camera. Um, so, excuse the um, unprofessional nature of this video. So, what have I got in front of me? I've just started her up. Um, we're at 94%. We're at 350.6 miles. I'm just going to pretend that's 350 for my maths calculations so I know how far we've gone. Um, obviously, battery level is not quite 100, which is frustrating, but that's how it is. Maybe we'll add a little bit at the end, depending how we feel. Um, but other than that, electric Land Rover, let's go and see how far we get until we fully run out and hopefully I don't have to call the boys with the trailer because I should be smart enough to just about get it home. See you at the next stop. Okay, quick update for you. I have done nine miles and I'm about to go onto the motorway. Um, so obviously things will change a little bit. I've been going basically like country road, so 40 mile, 40 mile an hour or so. Um, I've gone down, yeah, basically four or five percent, and I've done nine miles over the 350. Um, so, 
now we'll go and do some motorway driving. I'm not going to do 77. Um, I'm going to do, I don't know, 55, 60, because we are trying to maximize the range of this. Usually I would drive at 70, but if you were going a long way, you wouldn't in the same way I don't in my normal EV. Um, as soon as I drive fast, the range just goes. Whoosh. So I will crack on and probably catch up with you when I'm off the motorway again. Hi everyone, so an update for you. I've just come off the motorway. Um, for anyone who knows this area, I've gone from Lewis, which is A27, joined the A23 at Brighton um, and come up, I think I'm at the Burgess Hill turn off, Haywards Heath Burgess Hill area. Um, we're doing well. I, you know, I, I sort of sat, yeah, 55, 60 mile an hour. I was looking at the amp gauge quite a lot, which was between 50 and 100 amps. Uh, maybe slightly over a hundred every now and again. So not a massive amp draw considering when you put your foot down in this thing, you're like six, 700 amps. Um, so just maintaining a constant speed doesn't draw a huge amount of power in the same way it doesn't draw a huge amount of petrol just to sit at a constant speed. Um, anyone who knows this area, the motorways go like miles up and then miles down again because um, we're in, well, South Downs are nearby on the A27, uh, M27, A27. Um, so that obviously affects it, but I, I lose going uphill and then I win going back downhill. So I sort of see it as negligible. I don't really care. Um, but let's have a look at where we're at. So what are we, 76% I would imagine? And we have done 50, 60, 70, 27.8 miles. Um, so let's round that up and just go 5, 10, 15, 20% and we've done 50, 60, 70, 80 miles. So 20%, 20% is 30 miles. Um, the calculation on that would be 30 miles times five to get to 100%, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. So we're on track for a 150 range. Um, let's see how we go as as we continue on and as you know the battery goes through different stages of its discharge um curve so let's try that um i think the one thing i wanted to point out is that i am driving consciously that i'm trying to be eco-friendly i'm trying to get the maximum range out of the vehicle so what i'm trying to what perhaps what i'm doing is let me turn the wipers off perhaps what i'm doing is mimicking an original land rover so i'm accelerating not like really slowly, but I'm accelerating in more like 12 seconds up to 50, 60 mile an hour rather than the six seconds that she can do. Um, and I'm sitting in the slow lane, um, like with the other Land Rovers, actually with a couple of other Land Rovers just now, there's a lot of Land Rovers in this area, um, rather than in the fast lane, like I usually would in one of these when I'm not caring about range, etc. which remember 99% of your drives, you're not going to be trying to maximize the range of the vehicle you're just going to be bumbling along you get home you charge it after you've done let's say 100 miles so you don't actually worry about your driving style the one day you drive from london to cornwall you do so you know you take that into account with your driving so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna keep going and next time i see someone that's good to pull over and and have a chat and i've got something interesting to say i will but for the meantime see you soon Right, so I've got where I'm going. Um, that was the A272, um, which is an, obviously an A road. Um, it goes from 30 through villages to 40 mile an hour. Sometimes it went to 50 and back to 40. It, so I was sort of just driving normally, really. I wasn't accelerating hard, but I wasn't. It's not like I was going. I was doing the speed limit, ultimately. Um, so not like a queue of traffic or, you know, no one out in front of you for miles. It's just standard. That road is quite busy and quite slow as it is so maybe that helped our case a little bit um so update for you we're at 60 percent well 59 60 percent and we have now done exactly 55 miles um see the miles reading 405 we started at 350 um so crudely working that out we started at 95%, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35% of battery used, and we've done 55 miles. So let's crudely say that that's 33% of battery used, which is a third, 
um, and we've done 55 miles. So, well, and we've done 50 miles then. After 33%, I would say we've done 50 miles. Crudely, you can check the maths, whatever. Um, which tells me that 50 times three would equal 99%, which is 150 miles of range um, based on the driving we're doing today um, in this 110 Land Rover with 55 kilowatt hours. Um, I want to talk about three things that really drastically affect the range. In fact, I'm going to turn the car off now because I don't think we need it. Um, so the first thing is, in my view, driving style. Um, so really taking it gentle, not driving it super fast. Um, you know, even in my normal EV, when I flatten, when you put your foot to the ground, you're going to pull a huge amount of amps. In this, I don't think I regularly went over 100 amps of pulling. Um, so your driving style is mega important when it comes to range, which is why people say, you know, your range varies drastically, um, even, in, even in normal cars, in the same way your MPG varies drastically um, based on if you're Lewis Hamilton or if you're not Lewis Hamilton. Um, the second thing is temperature. Now, temperature is a huge one for us. Um, in the UK, it can go from, call it zero to five degrees, all the way up to 25 maybe 30 degrees one day. I mean, it's July and should be 30 degrees. Today, it's, uh, today I checked the weather and it said 15 degrees. Um, so I would hope that's somewhere in the middle. We would have squeezed a little bit more range out if it was 25 degrees when we started, but saying that the batteries have probably heated up to around the 25 degree, 20, 25 degree mark now. Um, if we started at five degrees, they'd have also heated up but the range will have been drastically reduced. And maybe we do the same test in the winter and see what that is. Um, but, you know, it all just comes down to averages and not really trying to ex exert the maximum amount of the vehicle every single time you go out. Um, the next thing, well, let's have a look at this car. You guys have probably seen it before. Um, so, you know, a big heavy car compared to the 90s or the, you know, full soft tops, etc. cetera. Um, the tires, I would call them crossover tires, but they're pretty punchy. Um, pretty big things. You know, you could go much thinner, um, like the Range Rover tires that we've had on previous builds. I didn't check tire, t tire t um, pressures or anything like that. But that shows you that we are going along in a big car here. Um, so that would be sort of... The, the third point is what car are you driving? How heavy it is it? How heavy is it? Are you towing? Have you got big fat off road tires, which make a massive difference um, to range? Of course they do. Um, there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about on here. Ah, the reason speed is important. Um, you'll have seen earlier when I was talking about my speed on the motorway not being 70 and being more like 55, 60 is not because of motor RPM the motor is happy to go and is still efficient at high RPM. The aerodynamics are not happy and not efficient at, at high speeds. Um, so obviously this is like pushing a brick through custard when you're going down the motorway. Um, so going slower, well, and the effect of air resistance is exponential. So it makes sense to stick it a little bit slower and then your air resistance is gonna be significantly lower. Um, Yes, it's, it's only 10 miles an hour difference, but that will make a big change to your journey time, especially if you think, oh, okay, if you go faster, you've got to charge for longer. So really you're better off just going, I don't know. It's not like we go slow. It's still a, you know, a, an acceptable speed. It's a Land Rover speed. It is still a Land Rover. Um, but yeah, I think I will do my, do what I've got to do here and then I will catch up with you when we're on our way back. I'm gonna stop at McDonald's, so that's probably the next uh, stop, and we can talk about something else and see how we're getting on. Right, as promised, I've just had my first burger. We're at McDonald's. Um, and it's actually a perfect time to stop because we have done we're at 425 now which means that we've done 75 miles because we started at 350 and we're at 46 odd percent um, remember we started on 95 so that means we've done I would say exactly half a battery pack and we've done 75 miles 
So, 75 times 2 is 150. 50 times 2 is 100. So, our calculated range at the minute is 150 miles. Um, I've been on the A272, well, since I last spoke to you, so 40, 50 mile an hour the whole way. Um, single lane traffic. Nothing crazy. I only once did I think I'm going to have a little bit of fun here because it was a very straight bit of road. Um, but I'm doing well to not do that kind of thing because we're trying to maximize range here. Um, I think nothing really to report right now. I'm going to keep pushing on. I'm going back to the workshop now. Um, so down the motor, well, about to get onto the motorway um, and then another motorway and then we'll be back at the, at the workshop. So I'm expecting our range to maybe decrease a little bit um, based on what we've been doing here because we're going to be going a little bit faster. So that little bit of more extra air resistance, I suppose. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to crack on and soon we're going to work out an exact, you know, mileage that a 110 Defender with 55 kilowatt hours does. Right, me again. I fear this is getting a bit boring now because I'm bored. Um, but I'm driving around. I've sort of gone purposely the wrong way back to just to try and do as many miles as I possibly can without like just wasting my time going back and forward up, up and down the same road um good place to stop because we have done 400 and, well we're at 451 we started at 350 so we've done exactly 100 miles and we and we're on 30 percent charge uh obviously we started at 95 so as ever let's count with me 5 10 15 20 25 30 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65% has done as 100 miles. Um, now, I'm going to call that 66%. And I'm going to call that, well, 66% 100 miles, which means that 99% would be 150 miles. Again, we're proving that this car does 150 miles, even though the people out there tell me that 55 kilowatt hours will only do 80 miles. Um, we'll talk about why that might be in other people's conversions when we get back to the workshop. Um, I'm in two minds. I could keep going up and down this road or I could go and build my clients' cars who are eager to get their cars back. So I'm going to decide that in the next 20 minutes it is to get home. Um, but I feel like I've kind of proven my point now. Um, you know, I was a bit upset that people thought that our range estimates weren't true. I hope that I have proven that they are, of course. Um, when we start getting into the lower, like, you know, 10, 15%, they're gonna, it's going to drop off a little bit quicker. So perhaps we get down to more like 145 estimated range or 140 even. Um, that's just how lithium batteries discharge. But, I mean, I'm doing pretty well. I'm going to see how I feel. And then when we get there, I'll do one final sort of summary clip and just speak about the whole journey and range calculations and then do that calculation for our 110 kilowatt hour pack, um, which is double what is in here. Um, so let me get back to it. Um, yeah, see you in the next bit. Right, I'm back at the workshop. I did do a couple of loops, not huge ones, um, basically until I got to the red light on the state of charge meter. Um, which is 15%. Now, 15%, obviously I started at 95, that means I did 80, used 80% 80 of the battery um, and I did 115 miles. Um, so I've just done the maths on that and it's come out at like 142 miles. So if I went from smack on 100% to smack on zero, I'd do 142 miles in this figure. Um, that shows you the batch pack in case you guys haven't seen it on our other, well, I don't know if there's other videos of this, but there might be. On, oops, on this car, it's got much, well, it's the same pack, but it's got much knobblier tires, so I'd imagine that would get a little bit less range. The guys are just playing with two big ones in there, which are, well, they have big, like, roof tents and stuff on them, so they're definitely going to have a reduced range but they've got 110 kilowatt hours going in them now i'm going to very crudely double the range so 
if we got 115 miles on 80% of range, we're gonna get 230 miles on 80% as well, yes. Um, I've lost my train of thought. To be honest, I'm tired of talking, and I'm tired of driving around in circles. But I think that proves to everyone that our cars will do 142 miles of range in a big heavy 110 with terrible tires on it. So if you, and that's, you know, average speed of let's say 50. Um, if you were doing more like 30, 40, or you stayed inside central London, or you were using it as a city car, you're gonna be way over the 150 mark, especially in say a lightweight 90 with the soft top. In the same breath, you're gonna get a 130, which we've actually got coming in the beginning of next year the range is obviously going to be slightly reduced below the 142 mark, but I hope that 142 is a good average for everyone and people can sleep at night knowing that our range calculations work. Um, and although other converters aren't getting the same range as us, they're not using the same motor as us. Let me quickly show you our motors. Tesla Model 3 motors down there um, are far, far, far more efficient than Tesla Model S motors, obviously there's, you know, there's sort of 10 years in the tech of Tesla making them. They're different inside. And also we use only new battery packs. So the modules are brand new. Um, that's gonna mean they hold their capacity a little bit better than perhaps secondhand modules, either Tesla modules out of cars that have done 20,000, 30,000 miles. The, the pack is gonna reduce. So in 10 years time, these two cars aren't gonna quite get the same range that we got today, but they're not gonna deplete massively. So I hope that sort of puts the myth to bed. And the next video is probably on these two big boys here. Um, so I look forward to showing you around them with our 110 kilowatt hour pack. For now, have a good weekend. I'm gonna go sort my back out because nobody should have to drive that far in a Defender ever because they're dreadfully uncomfortable. Thanks for watching.